It's Tim Pierce. Here in LA, I've been lucky enough to uh, coexist with phenomenal musicians. I do a simple thing. I've been able to make a living doing that and, and that and... But there are guys who are just so deep into this, and Ramon Stegneros is one of those guys. We played on a lot of the same records, lucky for me, but he has a, an understanding of guitar that's just breathtaking. Uh, a lot of people here in LA rely on him all the time uh, in the studio to do stuff and he also does some really important gigs too live. Ramon was kind enough to give us a very lengthy and expanded episode in the masterclass. Click the link below if you want to check it out. So are you playing with a flat pick? Yes. I noticed that so you you can do all of the finger style stuff all the time but but sometimes on a gut string you use a flat pick. Uh I can use both the my problem is that, you know, I'm, since I play also electric, my nails, they go like, when you're striming, I mean, my pick is small. Yeah, it gets worn down. Like this one gets worn down for me. That's yeah, correct. Right. The yeah. nails, they go yeah. immediately. But see, this one is no problem because it's always away from Yeah, the right. But the this, index goes the away. index and the middle also, bad of shape, so... Same for me. My this nail has not grown. It's been really weird since I was fourteen years old. It's Correct. Not yeah, because it's, you're too close. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So that being a problem, you know, I learned how to use a pick, and uh, you know, kind of uh, yeah. alternating with the fingers. So, you know, the first instrument that I grabbed was electric. So, really? I never practiced. Oh, yeah. okay. I started playing nylon here when I moved to the United States in 1981. Where from? From Peru. But when I came here, the first gig was nylon, so I started, you know, yeah, getting a Yeah, jumped right in. So, I saw a kind of an amazing performance with you and Bocelli in Las Vegas with David Foster. You and David Foster sitting there, string section. Right? Yeah. And I thought, you look so relaxed. Were you nervous inside during that? I was not? concerned, I remember. But I started relaxing when I saw that almost the whole band getting like, because it was so cold. Oh, really? Yeah. Dean <laughs> was there, Vini. Yeah. And they were like, well, you know, <laughs> they brought those electric keys. Yeah, and right. Like that. Yeah. So I started like, you know, getting relaxed about the whole situation, you yeah. know, that we were dealing also with the weather. Right. Yeah. Right. Say so whatever it happens, you know. But you, when you see these guys behind you, they're, you know, supporting, you know. Oh, yeah. It's like, yeah. it's yeah. no problem. Everybody's doing great. Yeah, know? yeah. When you play lead guitar, are you thinking, I mean, it's a tough question because you're probably not thinking, but do you see scales and chord shapes? Do you see, what do you visualize when you're, you're soloing? Everything that you just mentioned at the right. same time. But you also, see the chord shapes and you see the scales. 
Yeah, but also I'm looking for the sweet, no sweet phrases. If I can do it, you know. So give me an example of a sweet phrase. <laughs> I might repeat it. We go into such sessions and they say, play very simple. You know, it happens all the time. Play me something very simple that's a sweet phrase. Yeah, I do a lot yeah. of those, uh, you know, kind of rolls. Oh, yeah. This. Yeah. That's something I stress too. The way to move your hands around the neck is in the middle of phrases, and the way to do that is to go just yeah. Then yeah, you can reach some other territory. Yeah. yeah. See, so yeah. you're already here. That's another one. You just you bring your index finger up. You're in a new position. Yeah. Sometimes if I'm gonna go to an A, I kind of uh, visualize where I'm gonna land. You know, oh kind of, yeah, uh, yeah. Me too. Me too. Right? That's yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I see that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. When you see the chords in your mind, and you know you have to land on one of those chord tones. Yeah, it really helps a lot. Yeah. But you're very adept at playing through all of the chord changes. I kind of, uh, I studied by myself, so... You're self-taught? Yeah, totally. What about yeah. the reading? Did you teach yourself to read, too? Yeah, I, I had a terrible experience in this when I studied in Peru. Yes. With a... It was a whole orchestra oh, back then. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They couldn't punch anything. No, it was I two know. manics. Yeah. And if you somebody makes a, a mistake, you have to stop the whole thing. Well, I, I told the guy, yeah. I don't read music. Right. The guy that, that recommended me was yeah. another guitar player. Yeah. That he was about to kind of a retire. So he said, Ramon, I'm going to you know, pass you all my sessions. I said, I don't read. No, don't, don't worry. You don't have to. So I went to this session, the guy, <clears throat> you know, big chart with a lot of notes. Say, I don't read. Oh. He said, I'm sorry, but we have to record this today. Come over. <laughs> he sat on the piano, oh. trying to you know, figure it out. Oh, yeah. So after that session, I yeah. went back home and started like, I always wanted to, when I was in Peru, I said, man, I have to go to the United States to, to get better in my playing, you know. And my goal was always a uh, session player. Yeah, yeah. I mean, a little like you, you yeah, you, yeah. We talk about this, yeah. like life is like, okay, but I did, uh, I think my most uh, time that I spent on the road was with Yanni, the keyboard player. Yes. I think we do like three years. Okay. We did. Yeah. We went to China and... Uh, India, you know, to do videos and then a tour in the United States. And, but the problem there was the solo has to be the same every single night. I didn't know the that. solo. But we love that. We love to play. And, you yeah, know, yeah. It's a blessing. That sure is. When you watch TV, yeah. Um, are you practicing guitar? Because that's no. Uh, I should be, shouldn't that, I? I used I don't to. No, because uh, I used to. Well, my thing is that when you're sitting down in a sofa, my position is a different. Uh -huh. Wow. <laughs> so when I'm ready to play it, it's like a little weird. So you sit in front of the television and practice. That's awesome. I have always one guitar. I, yeah, you yeah. know, my wife doesn't like it, but of course. You've been there. Yes, but I, I should do that again. I really, I should sit there late at night with the guitar in my hand. How late you go to? Huh? How, how late you go to sleep? Uh, usually eleven thirty or midnight. 
Eleven thirty or midnight. And you watch a little TV before. Oh, I have to. I, I yeah, I have to watch Netflix. Or... <laughs> Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.